Today we wanted to have a look at the uh, CZ75B um, that I have here. Uh, it's been a very nice pistol, been very reliable. Um, the CZ75, of course, the way that it talks about, is made or was designed back in the 1970s. It was adopted by the Czechoslovakian uh, military, and at the time, Czechoslovakia was within the uh, Soviet bloc countries, so we could not actually buy one of these. So they were a high desirable item at the time. They went up to like a thousand dollars, you know, back in the uh, 1970s, uh, late 70s, early 80s prices. But um, long story short, uh, we saw the Berlin Wall fall, and we saw a lot of the com bloc countries, or actually all the com bloc countries, come out of the uh, Russian influence, and we were able to import them. So this here is a CZ-75B. Um, the original CZ had a couple uh, different features on it uh, in uh, difference to this one. One of the main things was a trigger block safety, which makes it safer if you end up dropping it on the ground and uh, you know, possibly the hammer falling forward, it'll actually block the firing pin inside. Uh, the other thing uh, with the CZ-75B is you'll see here a squared off trigger guard. Back in the 80s, that was all the rage because people could hold on to their pistol and they would have a grip with their finger up on the top here that was supposed to help um, stabilize the pistol while you're firing it. Now that's gone out of uh, popularity right now, so um, to me it doesn't really matter much. I don't use that kind of a grip and it doesn't bother me with holsters, so the CZ75 is an, a nice option. Um, a couple of the features actually for the pistol, as you can see here, a 15 round magazine, which at the time was a, a um, well, people call it standard capacity now, but it's a high capacity magazine compared to an 8 round magazine, which was the standard at the time. One of the big features too of this pistol was the ability to carry it similar to a 1911, which means that the safety here um, shown in the uh, fire position is down like a 1911, 1911 and the uh, up is on fire of course and you can carry that actually like that and I have actually carried that um, usually in the winter time underneath a coat um, and you can carry it with a uh, cocked and lock carry and I'll make sure here we were empty and you just saw there as well that you cannot rack the slide back with the safety on. Now I'll show you another thing too with the uh, double action. So, so anyway, so single action you can drop your hammer, uh, empty chamber, and the other thing is too that you can fire it double action. So you can carry it single action safely with the safety on or actually use a double action. Now the one strange thing about this is though on double action you do not get to put your safety on. So your safety is basically the long reach of the trigger pull. So, let's do, again, an empty pistol. Oops, let me try to do that slower. So you can see it's a pretty long reach, but it's pretty smooth. You get a little bit of junk going on there, but not bad at all. So you would fire that um, double action, and then, of course, the next shot then would be single action afterwards. So it's a nice little carry pistol, actually. Um, it is all steel, um, so it is a little bit heavy. But um, I have actually, I've gotten a uh, Phobos holster for it and have used it for carry in the past. Um, it's a nice uh, pistol to shoot, uh, very accurate. Oh, and another thing too we want to talk about here is the uh, basic design of the pistol, which at the time everybody went crazy over, or uh, well, they liked it, is that it has an internal um, riding of the rails, whereas a normal slide, or not a normal slide, but other slides that are used on other pistols, and you can see it here, the uh, slide itself would fit over the rails. Whereas on this pistol, the slide itself fits inside of the rails. Now let's see here, once we'll do, uh, do a quick disassembly of it. Um, very easy to disassemble. It's one of those pistols, just take it here in the back and get it to the hash marks. Find a solid non-mooring uh, object, push in, and the lever comes out here, the slide stop lever, and everything comes apart. And you can see it is a uh, steel uh, frame here, which actually really for the size of it and being steel framed, it is a fairly uh, light pistol. You have your uh, recoil spring here, which in this case is polymer. That doesn't bother me. I haven't seen any failures of that. And there's the uh, slide rails, as you can see in the back here. And they actually ride inside of the frame rails. So, and there's our barrel. And that actually uses, um, similar to a 1911 lockup and dissimilar to the Glocks, it uses locking lugs actually on top of the barrel, which meet with the um, 
locking lugs and see if I can get the camera here right right there inside of the slide and you can see back here here's your hammer um, drop safety or your uh, firing pin safety I should say which the mechanism of the gun actually pushes up and removes the uh, blockage in front of the firing pin so yeah, I think that is a good feature you pay for it a little bit in the um, trigger pull but it's not bad and if you're shooting in a combat situation it's uh, really uh, barely unnoticeable and the thing is it is a good thing not to uh, have your gun go off whenever you drop it I know years ago the only time I ever came close to something like that is that I had a Makarov well, I still have it I have a Makarov I put this guy back together while we're talking and I dropped it by accident on a concrete floor make sure I don't get any and didn't discharge or anything but later on I got out my pistol and had a look at it my Makarov and you could actually see a small dent in the primer so it wasn't far from uh, discharging and it might have had very bad consequences I'll just give you another look here of the pistol now the CZ 75B has a safety on the right side which I'm a righty which that uh, actually works better for me I don't have to worry about accidentally brushing off the safety on the right side now the CZ 85 and a lot of the later models have uh, ambidextrous safeties so you know you make your choices I just like it because then I don't have to worry about accidentally swiping on or swiping off the safety on that side it is your uh, typical three dot sights here the top of the slide is nicely grooved to uh, cut down on any glare and now uh, the magazines on this particular pistol anyways are not drop free and that was typical of European pistols at the time they basically didn't want to lose their magazine they're more concerned about that than really speed loading not a big deal you grab your other pistol you flick out the thing uh, flick out the empty magazine and away you go uh, pistols do come with a CZ uh, magazine loader so uh, I don't usually use that um, if it's a long day sometimes I'll end up taking and uh, uh, using the magazine loader just to uh, to give a little relief to my uh, thumb as I'm trying to put the uh, nine millimeters in there so anyways here's our CZ 75 a very nice pistol it's a full-size pistol uh, a little bit heavy but very nice for carrying I carry it um, cocked and locked uh, same way as I do my 1911s and I'm um, just saying if you uh, get a chance to get one of these I would uh, highly recommend it especially in the original CZ 75 and you can buy a lot of the other ones the copies which are great but the CZ 75s really aren't that much more and I just prefer this one here as it's made in Czechoslovakia and has some Cold War um, history to it so thank you for watching the video and if you like please subscribe thank you